So three, two, one. Oh, oh, I can see a little bit. So what we're gonna do is something rather clever with these bottles of water. We're gonna take them down to a temperature below what they would normally freeze at, but they're not gonna freeze. It sounds a bit weird, but we're gonna do it using this bucket here. I'm just gonna pop some ice in that bucket that I've got over here. So in we go. In we go. I've got a few more bags as well, so let's keep on pouring it in. Because you want enough ice to be able to cover most of the bottle, but just not the very top. Let's put this one in as well. Then, you want to add some salt to the ice, because what the salt is going to do is allow the ice to get to a lower temperature. At the moment, it's at zero degrees Celsius, but the salt allows it to get down to about minus six, minus eight. So, let's whack some of this in, like this. And you want about half a tub of this salt to do three bottles of water. So let's pop them in to the ice. There's one. Let's pop this one in. Like that. And there's no real rhyme and reason to this. Just shove them in as best you can. Have the top still sticking out though. got our thermometer. So we pop our thermometer there so we can see what temperature it's going to be and then we just have to wait. So I've left these bottles for about half an hour and the temperature is down to minus five, yeah. minus six degrees C. So I'm hoping that these bottles are cold enough for this experiment to work, right? So they're at minus six degrees C, that's a temperature lower at the temperature that water normally freezes at. But I can see that the water is still water, not ice. So I'm gonna gently lift one out and show you. So there we go, the water is still water. And that's because for ice crystals to form, they need to cling on to something to start forming. But because we've used bottled water, that's mineral water, it's been filtered, so it doesn't really have many impurities in it. So there's not much for that very first ice crystal to cling on to. So I'm gonna really scientifically just give it a good bash and that'll form microscopic air bubbles. And so give that very first ice crystal something to make it form. Right. So three, two, one. Oh, oh, I can see a little bit. Let me. See. Can you see it? It's just frozen at the top there. Can you see? It's actually frozen in the middle, but not on the outside. So that almost worked. It was a bit, it sort of half worked, half didn't. But I'm going to try it again and hope, hope it's going to behave itself. Please work. Three, two, one. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, I can see, I can see one, I can see one ice crystal. Yes! Did you see it? It turned pretty fast. But that went into that whole thing, just about, is solid ice. So you can see the water moving, but you can see a lot of the ice that's there. So some of it's turned into ice, but some of it hasn't. So it's, it's almost worked, but just like science normally, um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work so well. <laughs> Please work. It hasn't worked. <laughs> um,